Hi and welcome. I'm going to show you how to illustrate in Google Drawings even without a single artistic bone in your body. Today I'm going to show you how to create silhouette type illustrations in Google Drawings. So why would you create illustrations in Google Drawings anyway? Well, it's about using the software that's available to you and it could be that in your particular educational or business or home situation that the only available software is Google Drive. We're using Google Drawings today because even though you can do the same things in Google Slides, it's a good idea to keep your illustrations organized in Google Drawings and bringing them into your other projects as you need. Another reason why you'd create your own illustrations are copyright issues. There's so much stuff freely available on the internet but as we know sometimes it's hard to tell are we allowed to use it in our projects or not. Creating your own illustrations helps to prevent any issues there. The other thing is what I'll be showing you today is really easy to use. If you can use a mouse and with a little bit of practice you'll be able to create your own illustrations. It's also terrific to make your own illustrations if you're trying to create a consistent look throughout a project or a series of projects. Even if you find legally free stuff on the internet chances are there's lots of different looks and you can create a bit of a hodgepodge but Sometimes it's nice to be able to have a consistent look across your project. And of course, the other terrific thing with Google products is that they're accessible anywhere where you have an internet connection. Home, office, classroom, as long as you've got an internet connection, you'll be able to bring them up. Just a little bit of a proviso there. The tools that we'll be using are available on the browser-based desktop versions of Google Drive, you won't find them at the moment on the mobile based apps such as iPad or Android. Right, so now let's get to it and have a look to see how we can create a silhouette type illustration in Google Drawing. So I've already created a Google Drawing file and I've named it Tree Silhouette. I've also inserted a photograph of a tree which I'm going to create a silhouette from. Now this particular photograph of a tree I just found using the image search function within Google Drawing. But you could find a picture on the internet or have a picture that you would like to create a silhouette from. So this is the really really basic version and we'll be using a tool called the curve tool. Now before we start using it we need to get as much screen space as possible. It's If you're used to using the curve tool in PowerPoint um, it's a lot more subtle and gives you a bit more finesse than the curve tool in uh, Google Drive. Uh, but uh, with a bit of practice it's easy enough to use. But really we need to make the tree as big as possible to give us as much space as possible to draw over it. So first of all I'm just going to crop some of the excess photograph and you'll see as I crop it the blank drawing canvas will come up behind it. So I'll just crop that. Alright, that means I can make my image a bit bigger, give me a bit more room to move. All right, you also might like to zoom in a little. That's probably a little too much. But certainly get as close to your subject as possible. All right, I'm zoomed in at 100% now and I'll start drawing my curve. So over the select line I click on the drop down arrow and I select curve. So basically what you do is you click around the perimeter of the tree. Now you can make some adjustments to the points after you finish your drawing 
but you have to be careful not to click too close to your previous click otherwise it will think that you've completed your drawing so as I said it's not quite as allows quite as intricate paths as PowerPoint does with its curve tool but it's pretty good Once you get to the end, you just find the beginning and you'll see it automatically connects and you click and you've created your silhouette of your tree. I'll just zoom out so you can see. Um, so I would like to adjust the curve of the trunk here. Uh, so I'll just click out of the curve tool and you'll see that the uh, actual drawing is selected now. So to adjust the points, so I can adjust particular curves, right click and go to edit points. And you'll see all the little points come up for the tree. So I might bring this in a little. So once again, it doesn't allow, if you're used to using the PowerPoint tool, it doesn't allow the same level of intricacy, but it still gives you a high level of flexibility, which is pretty easy to use. So once you're happy with that, just click away. Um, and you have your drawing now, your silhouette. Uh, you can delete the photograph in the background or move it aside off the canvas and you can fill it with whatever color you like you can change the line color or have no line color at all and basically you can uh, adjust the drawing in the same way that you can adjust other drawings now if you want to get really clever I'll just bring this photo back and bring it to the front you can go back and just create these little um, branches, so the little gaps in the tree to create another level of detail. Layer them over the top of your original drawing and uh, just group everything together if you want to get that sophisticated. But as it is, you have now a silhouette illustration of a tree or a fairy or a house or a cat or a dog or whatever else you would like that you can recolor and use as you want. So the next step is looking at how can we bring that drawing that we created in Google Drawings, so the silhouette of the tree, into other projects. In this instance I'm using Google Slides. Basically it's a matter of having your drawing open and your final project open and copying your drawing from Google Drawings and pasting it into the final project. So I'll go over to where I have the silhouette. I copy and paste, I copy using my preferred method so you can right click and select copy. So back over to the presentation and once again paste using your preferred method. So paste and here's my tree. Now the great thing is this tree or this silhouette, this illustration acts just like any other drawing object so I can resize it, I can recolor it, I can even make it transparent and I can move it around as I want. So I can add lines, I can treat it pretty much like any other drawing object in Google Drive. So I can, another slide, I can just paste the tree
I can even edit the points if I want to adjust it within the different project that I've brought it into. So it gives me a whole level of flexibility to work with the drawing once I create it in Google Drawings. So as you can see, even without any drawing or artistic skills, Google Drawings can make it pretty easy for anyone to be able to create illustrations in Google Drawing. Silhouettes are the simplest thing you can start with. As I mentioned before, you can add levels of detail by adding in uh, gaps, for instance, in the tree. Uh, you can also go on to the next level and actually add in details within your illustrations based on the pictures that you're tracing from.